Antonio Villas-Boas Business Insider OnePlus announced its new OnePlus 5T smartphone on Thursday, just five months after the company released the OnePlus 5. It seems to be the new OM for OnePlus phone releases, as the company made a similar move in 2016 by releasing its OnePlus 3T smartphone just six months after it released the OnePlus 3 in 2016. It's a move that could have angered OnePlus fans, but the OnePlus 3T was a minor upgrade from the OnePlus 3 with few design changes. As a result, OnePlus fans didnt have much to be disappointed about if they bought the OnePlus 3, it's a different story with the OnePlus 5 versus the OnePlus 5T. The new smartphone has an updated screen design that looks decidedly better and more modern than the OnePlus 5S classic design, and there are a couple of feature updates that some original OnePlus 5 owners may feel they're missing out on. Why does OnePlus do this? The company told me it was ready to release a phone with new features and design elements, and at DIDNT feel the need to wait another six months for a typical smartphone annual release cycle. Based on my short hands and time with the OnePlus 5T, anyone looking to upgrade from an older smartphone should pay seriously close attention to OnePlus new device as a potential candidate. It'll have the full review after I've used the OnePlus 5T for a few more days. For now, check out the new phone from OnePlus View as one-page slides I have yet to fully test the OnePlus 5 Terra Seconds camera and whether the extra 4 megapixels make a real difference, but the camera seems great from the few pictures I've taken with the phone so far. Like the OnePlus 5, the OnePlus 5T has a portrait mode for the rear camera, which I still need to test. If the portrait mode from the OnePlus 5 is anything to go by, it should work quite well on the 5T. Unfortunately, it's still lacking a portrait mode for the front-facing 16-megapixel selfie camera, which would have been a good update for the 5T2 include, especially as the Pixel 2 phones and the iPhone X have selfie portrait modes. The secondary camera lens also appears to be designed purely for the portrait mode, and there's no optical zooming like there was on the OnePlus 5, or the iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone X, or Samsung Galaxy Note 8. That means the OnePlus 5T zooms digitally, which generally ISNT as good as optical zooming. OnePlus says the zoom results should be just as good, but it's a claim it'll have to fully test.